Listen. Listen. It's not pro contract first. It's not challenge every call first. It's not win at all calls first. It's not yell at the refs first. It's not jump up and down first. It's not your dream first. It's my dream first. It's my dream first. It's my dream first. It's not you first. It's me first. It's me first. It's me first. It's kids 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 first. It's my great pleasure to welcome everyone to the fourth annual Steel Sports Excellence Awards. My name is Martin Brown, President and CEO at Steel Sports. As you can see in our new Kids First video, we are committing to putting kids first in everything we do. And that starts with our Steel Sports coaching system, the Lasorda Way. Our National Excellence Awards acknowledges and rewards our coaches and athletes who exemplify our core values on and off the field which were developed from Tommy's philosophy of, you gotta believe. Recently, we released our 2023 impact report and the Lasorda Way system has had a profound impact on nearly 3,000 kids on our teams, which made up a part of the nearly 20,000 kids that were impacted in 2023. Steel athletes demonstrate a growth mindset at a higher level than their peers, as well as display healthier core mental health competencies. 52% of steel graduates are playing a sport in college, whereas the national average is 7%. The result that stood out to me, however, is that 100% of steel parents attest to their child demonstrating our core values at home, at school, and away from the field in their community. The American Association of Pediatrics published a study on youth sports that proves we are on the right path concerning our kids. They recommend kids play multiple sports, we launched our Explore Multisport program in 2022. They recommend a focus on fun. One of our national rituals is free play before every practice to encourage fun and free thinking. They suggest all role models involved in kids' lives have an opportunity and responsibility for the physical and mental welfare of kids. We not only institute safety rules during play, but our athletes have completed over 670 mental resilience courses of their own volition that we offer on our coaching platform. Tonight is an opportunity to celebrate the shining examples of coach, our coaches and athletes displayed last year. We have an extraordinary lineup of presenters from our esteemed advisory board and key partners who support our mission to forge future leaders through the steel sports coaching system, the Lasorda way. We wanna thank all of our coaches, players, staff, parents, partners, and sponsors as well as Warren, the Steel Partners Board of Directors and sister companies in the Steel Network who will also be awarded tonight for the impact they make in their communities. Steel Sports has provided over $120,000 in sponsorships to organizations coached by a Steel Partners employee. The impact in 2023 was over 6,000 kids alone. We'll be recognizing coaches who receive sponsorships and awarding our third Kids First Cup to the company that embraced the opportunity to impact the community through sports. Lastly, the night's final award carries the legacy of Tommy Lasorda forward, the Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year, which awards two of the very best coaches within steel sports. I'm honored to lead an organization that emphasizes coach education, parent engagement, social impact in communities, and most importantly, putting kids first. To kick off our show, I'd like to introduce tonight's host, Sean K. Sullivan. In our world, Sean is a five-tool player. Hailing out of Indianapolis, Sean is the current Horizon League as Associate Commissioner, an adjunct professor at Northwestern University, and a public address announcer for Indy's NBA, WNBA, and USL teams. Welcome, Sean, to the fourth annual National Excellence Awards. Well, thank you, Martin. It is my privilege to host these important awards tonight, recognizing the accomplishments of coaches, athletes, staff, and companies dedicated to making a positive impact through youth sports. I have been involved in sports my whole life, on fields, in the broadcasting booth, athletic departments, lecture halls, and youth sports sidelines. I've seen firsthand that at every level and every age, a well-trained and positive coach can change the course of many lives for the better. My dad was one of those coaches. So to kick off our night, the first award, Regional Coach of the Year, it's sponsored by Score Sports and Coca-Cola. To present the 14 winners will be Andrew Broadbent, known as Brody, Steel Sports Senior Vice President Teams, and Jim Thompson, 
founder of Positive Coaching Alliance and Steel Sports Advisory Board member. Welcome, everyone. I am honored to co-present with Jim Thompson, who has spent a lifetime developing positive coaches through coach education and has written numerous books for coaches, parents, and athletes alike. All of our regional Coach of the Year winners will receive a $75 gift certificate from Score Sports and will automatically be eligible for the Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year Award, which will cap our award show tonight. Hey, Brody. This is Jim Thompson. Thank you for that nice introduction. Coaches have the power to inspire, lead by example, and motivate players to be their best versions of themselves on and off the field. The Steel Sports Regional Coaches of the Year recognizes the coaches who embody teamwork, respect, integrity, and commitment on and off the field. These coaches establish the steel standard in youth sports and coaching by forging the next generation of leaders. All steel coaches complete the steel sports coaching system, the La Sorda way, and I'm honored to announce the first group of recipients of the steel sports regional coaches of the year award. First up is Sam Nellis, steel United soccer, California, Conejo Valley, Brian Lee, Steel United Soccer, California, South Bay. Jesse Story, Team Steel Baseball, California. Dave Vieira, Team Steel Baseball, Colorado. Lee Ortiz, Steel United Soccer, Massachusetts. Anthony Castro Giovanni, Team Steel Baseball, Massachusetts. And Stuart Sharple, Steel United Soccer, New Jersey. Thanks, Jim. The second group of winners are Ralph Carasilla, Team Steel Baseball, New York, Long Island. Jeremy McManus, Steel United Soccer, New York, Hudson Valley. Heather O'Rourke, Steel United Soccer, Pennsylvania. Jeremy White, Steel United Soccer, Texas. Carlo Trombley, Steel United Soccer, Virginia Beach. Mariam Chavez, Steel United Soccer, Northern Virginia. And finally, Charles Warren, Steel United Soccer, Washington. Congratulations to all the coaches, and two of you will be honored later tonight with the Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year Award, powered by League App. So stay tuned. But well, congratulations to all of those deserving coaches. The next presenter is an icon in sports, a trailblazer as the first woman to play and coach in a men's professional league and a pillar in the community. Who better to present Impact MVP of the Year than National Basketball Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman. Hi everybody, I'm Nancy Lieberman, two-time Basketball Hall of Famer, CEO of Nancy Lieberman Charities. We impact kids all over the country through basketball and coaching. The Steel Sports Impact MVP of the Year Award recognizes a staff member who consistently drives positive impact through our communities and inspires their teams to do the same. This is near and dear to my heart. We thank Yokohama Tires for the sponsorship of our Steel Sports Impact MVP of the Year Award for the fourth year. Yokohama Tires has driven positive impact with our steel athletes by providing 15 $500 college scholarships in 2023 in the What's Your Why competition. Our Impact MVP winners were chosen from 12 monthly Impact MVPs during the year who did amazing work in communities to make a positive impact. And the 2023 Impact MVP is Kelly Slattery. Kelly is the Regional Administrator for Steel United Washington. 
Kelly drives community impact for Steel United Washington, which includes food and equipment donations, supporting the top soccer and kids with special needs, and holiday celebrations for Halloween and Christmas that form bonds between teammates and shows Steel United in a positive light throughout the Tacoma, Washington community. Kelly will receive $250 and a set of four Yokohama tires to help navigate the tricky Pacific Northwest weather. Congratulations, Kelly, and I thank you for everything you do to inspire young people within our communities. Hi everyone, I'm Ali Hainel, Steel Sports Senior Vice President for Social Impact. One of our key initiatives has been the creation of Women of Steel. It's formed to empower, inspire, and advocate for our women coaches and staff. I'm so honored to introduce the incomparable Morgan Stickney, two-time Paralympic swimming gold medalist and holder of three para swimming world records. Morgan will be competing in Paris this summer to swim for more gold. Please welcome Morgan Stickney to announce the 2023 Women of Steel Award finalists and our winner, sponsored by Puma. Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Stickney, two-time Paralympic gold medalist and a proud member of the Steel Sports Advisory Board. I'm so excited to be preparing for this year's Paralympic Games in Paris. Remember to follow your dreams and be as strong as steel in the face of adversity. The finalists of Women of Steel goes deep this year, impacting multiple regions and initiatives such as the Athlete Leadership Council, Coach Mentoring, empowering female athletes, and leading by example. The 2023 Women of Steel finalists are Heather O'Rourke, a coach from Steel United, Pennsylvania, Facility Day, Vice President, Experience in Steel Sports, Jalen Finney, Coach and Assistant Product Manager at Steel United, Texas, and Dakota Carroll, Teams Director, Steel United, Pennsylvania. And the winner is... Dakota Carroll. Dakota shined this year as our team's director for Steel United Pennsylvania, the largest Steel United region. Her leadership has brought all of the products together, excelling in teams, experience, programming, coaching, coaching systems, and social impact. Dakota's perspective as a player and coach for Steel has set her up for success in the leadership role. And now as a very new parent, Dakota's perspective will continue to grow. Congratulations again, Dakota. You will receive a $250 Puma gift card and hopefully they have onesies available. Thank you to Steel Sports and Puma for recognizing our Women of Steel. So I know what it's like to be around a woman of steel. My wife, Molly, is the senior woman administrator and associate athletic director at Butler University, and we juggle four kids' school, sports, and daily life schedules. So big shout out to those finalists, Heather, Felicity, Jalen, and Dakota. The next award is the first for our athletes tonight, our core values champions. Coaches nominated players who display the steel sports core values of teamwork, respect, integrity, and commitment. To present these awards is a star National Women's Soccer League player who epitomizes these core values, bringing greatness to the field and good to her communities. Please welcome Ziara King. Hi everyone. Um, my name is Ziara King, and as mentioned, I am a professional soccer player in the NWSL, um, and I'm excited to be here to present for you all. I'm also a current Steel Sports Advisory Board member, which I'm super excited about. Having core values is so important for personal and professional growth. 
and these steel athletes were exemplary in displaying the steel sports core values of teamwork, respect, integrity, and commitment. This year, and they encouraged their peers to do the same. And the winners are Emma Lindroff, Lindroff of Steel United California Conejo Valley, Jay Lee, Steel United California South Bay, Team Steel California, Chase Olinger, Team Steel Colorado, Rami Monson, Steel United Massachusetts, Jacob Malin, Steel United Massachusetts, Abigail Doremus, Steel United New Jersey, John Haight, Steel United New York Hudson Valley, Josiah Escobar, Team Steel New York, Maeve McDonald, Steel United Pennsylvania, Cooper Bruns, Steel United Texas, Madison Frederick, Steel United North Virginia, Peyton Greaves, Steel United Virginia Beach, and Ezekiel Jahi Gopal, Steel United Washington. Thank you to Steel Sports and sponsors Empire Softball and CPS Security for the opportunity to celebrate these talented and gifted athletes who display our core values and encourage others to do so. Now, the second award of the night for athletes, it's the play of the year. The best play is voted on by our kids and families chosen from top 10 plays and highlights posted to social media during the year. Presenting the award is someone who knows a thing or two about great plays by some of the best athletes in the world. And frankly, my favorite of the two Robbies. Please welcome Robbie Earl. Good evening, I'm Robbie Earl, former professional soccer player and current Premier League commentator on NBC. Oh, I'm the proud member of the Steel Sports Advisory Board. Now, I've seen my fair share of amazing plays from the field and the booth. Do you remember David Beckham scoring for certain Manchester United from the halfway line? Well, that was against my team and I was playing, so I had a pretty good view of it. But I'm excited to present the Steel Sports Player of the Year. Great plays have been highlighted all year through the Top 10 Plays social media campaign and the winners have been voted for by the fans. Congratulations to Mike Zicinelli, Team Steel 12U Pink, for his walk-off Grand Slam at Cooperstown this summer. I mean, that's got to be every baseball player's dream, isn't it? To hit one for your team with a Grand Slam. And to Max Garnett and Noah Duffy, Steel United Pennsylvania, Max, first of all, what a brilliant diving save to put the ball onto the crossbar. And Noah, right place at the right time to clear the ball away from danger. Gentlemen, that's teamwork at its very finest. We thank Highcast and Trophy Hawk for sponsoring the Player of the Year. The winners will receive some cool swag and bragging rights until next year. So congratulations to all you athletes making great plays. But now it's time to watch those winning plays. Those plays got me fired up. Those were great plays. All right, next up to the plate is Rookie of the Year. And to present the award was one of Major League Baseball's best at first base. Longtime Dodger great and the 1992 National League Rookie of the Year. Please welcome Eric Karos.
Hi everyone, Eric Karras here, former Rookie of the Year for the Los Angeles Dodgers and now current Steel Sports Advisory Board member, as well as a Steel Partners Board member. When I played for Tommy Lasorda, he was instrumental in building my confidence to perform on the field. He knew that all players, rookies, and veterans needed to play their best to achieve our lofty goals. His You Gotta Believe mantra led to great results as we had five Rookie of the Year winners in a row. The Steel Sports Rookie of the Year Award recognizes a team member who has made unique and substantial contributions to the Steel Sports family in their early years. Their efforts reaped the results needed for the team to excel. The finalists for the Steel Sports Rookie of the Year Award, sponsored by Augusta Sportswear, are Dakota Carroll, Teams Director, Steel United, Pennsylvania. Brian C., Content Manager, Brand Team. Hanan Mahmood, Senior Accountant. Mike Labella, Assistant Regional Product Director, Experience. And Casey Slattery, Coach, Steel United, Washington. And the winner is, and by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, I got a Tommy statue in my office, always looking over my shoulder in a good way. Okay, and Brian C., I am excited to announce that you are this year's recipient of the Rookie of the Year Award and a $250 Augusta Sportswear gift card. Brian is responsible for the highest quality content in the youth sports space. Shooting video and photography for all of our steel sports products, Brian has raised the bar in the name of the steel sports brand. Brian started as an intern while at Rowan University, went part-time his senior year and full-time upon graduation. Thank you to Augusta Sportswear for the opportunity to present this award and celebrate Brian's success. Congratulations, Brian. Well, thank you, Eric. I enjoyed watching you play in Chicago, the place I call home. Well, next up is another former MLB player. Do we have an all-star team of presenters or what? It's awesome. Frank Catalanado played in the big leagues for 14 years, so he knows what it's like to come to work day in and day out. So to present staff star of the year, welcome Frankie Cat. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Catalanato, former Major League Baseball player and current Hofstra University head baseball coach. Staff stars go above and beyond daily expectations. During 2023, Steel Sports recognized the monthly staff star, and it's from these monthly winners that the 2023 Staff Star Award was chosen. Our staff star is the ultimate teammate, a five-tool player with a get-it-done attitude. 2023 Staff Star of the Year is Nancy Walsh, National Operations Manager of Steel Sports. Nancy worked tirelessly this year as National Operations Manager, but in particular, executing our national program, which includes a multi-day summer camp with over 160 players and coaches and our out-of-town national tournaments. Nancy handles day-to-day -day operations, works with all regions, juggles multiple vendors, and christened our new office in New Jersey. Congratulations, Nancy. As the 2023 Staff Star, you will receive a $250 Sports Endeavors gift card. We all appreciate your hard work and getting the job done. Tommy Lasorda once said, if you love what you do, you haven't worked a day in your life. And working in sports can be a dream come true for so many. One pathway to a career in sports is to be a well-rounded athlete. The intentional life lessons taught by trained coaches will set an athlete up for success in life. 
Now we get the opportunity to celebrate some of our best athletes whose impact extends to their teammates and beyond the field. To present Athlete of the Year is the legendary player and manager, a Tommy Lasorda disciple. Please welcome Bobby Valentine. Hello, everyone. This is Bobby Valentine. I'm wearing my steel sports jersey, and I finally got the computer running right. So I'm here to proudly represent steel sports. I'm on the steel sports advisory board, and I'm also on the steel sports foundation board. And over my decades long MLB career as a player and a coach, it is all about the athletes at the end of the day that we care for, nurture, we teach, and we celebrate. Yeah, and growing up, of course, I was a player. I played a lot of sports, was even a ballroom dancer. But I understand that the 21 athletes that were nominated are the very best that represent Steel out on the field, and I'm proud to be here with you all. The nominees also excel outside of Steel for their high schools, their teams, and their other sports, of course, on top of being incredible, well-rounded athletes, these nominees and finalists and winners all represent Steel at the highest level on and off the field. Out of the 21 nominees, I'm proud to announce six finalists, among which we will pick the winner. Yes, we have Miley Butler, from Steel United Washington, and Kylie Gust from Steel United Pennsylvania, Maggie McDermott, Steel United New Jersey, Giovanni Giero from Steel United Texas, Brett Lamb from Team Steel Colorado, and Jackson Robinson, how about that name, from Steel United New Jersey. And the 2023 Athlete of the Year awards go to Kylie Gust and Brett Lamb. Yeah, congratulations, you guys. Kylie is a true team leader. She led the 2005 Girls Elite Team in goals and assists, and it was the leading scorer on our U-20 women's team. As a high school soccer player, she received all mainline honors and is a two-sport athlete playing basketball as well. She excels in the classroom, and she'll be soon at Gettysburg College next year. Kylie also coaches at our youth camps, helps at our steel sports and, and futile leagues, and for a consistent commitment to our club's core values, Kylie received a leadership challenge coin in the fall. Congratulations, Kylie. You're doing it all. And we look for the great things you'll do in the future. And Brett Lamb for Team Steel Colorado 2025 Grand Year Team. Brett, yeah, he is a team leader who is well represented and able to hold players accountable and motivate them to step up their game when needed. Brett has a 3.95 GPA, put in over 40 hours of community service, and is also a two-sport athlete, finishing fifth in the Colorado State Wrestling Championships. Wow, in 2023, Brett, you had a year. He dedicated himself to a workout and practice routine to succeed in being teens, Steele's first summer session and constantly demonstrating his commitment to the game. Congratulations again to Brett and Kylie, our 2023 Steel Sports Athletes of the Year. Thank you to book your block and to head first for sponsoring this award. Prepare to get some cool gear, guys. Congratulations again. Congratulations to all of our stellar athletes and thanks so much, Bobby. What a, what a treat every year having him present. 
many of whom of our athletes we have seen grown up in our club. And of course, teaching all of our athletes to work together forms teams of the highest standards. The cornerstone of steel sports are the teams that put their best out on the field where success only comes if they work together under the right coach and teaching the right program. And who knows better about standout teams than none other than World Series champion manager and future Hall of Famer, Mr. Dusty Baker. Good evening. I am so honored to present the 2023 Team of the Year Award, keeping me in the dugout for another night. Yes, I have managed great teams, championship teams, and teams that overcame adversity. I know the effort that it takes from everyone involved, coaches, players, and family. What it takes to keep a team performing all year and peaking at the right time. Congratulations to all of you dedicating this organization to the teachings of the great Tommy Lasorda a man who knew the true meaning of the word team. We have three place winners for the 2023 Steel Sports Team of the Year in Let's Meet the Teams. In third place, Steel United Washington 0506 Boys Elite, coached by Chris Hansen. This team was a first year combined age group. They started their full season winning the Labor Day Cup tournament at the Seattle Sounders Training Complex and finished their season winning the Washington State Cup on a penalty shootout. In second place, Team Steel New York 9U. Coached by Pete Dunbar, this team won the Lasorda Fall League, the Lasorda Fall Classic, the Lasorda Summer Showdown, the Town of Brookhaven Summer League and the Tournament of Champions, among other championships. And they are only nine years old. Wow. And now in first place, our Steel Sports 2023 Team of the Year is Steel United Virginia Beach 2010 Girls Elite. Coached by Dave Keevney. This team was undefeated in the CCL Championship Spring and Fall Leagues. They were champions of the 2023 CCL Showcase in Richmond, Virginia, and of the Commonwealth Clash. But their year culminated as the 2023 Virginia State Cup Champions. What an incredible year and three incredible teams. Thank you. So congratulations to all of our teams around the country for their on-field success and for doing things the Lasorda way. Thank you to the legendary Dusty Baker. It's always great to see you. And thank you to Real Play and the Philadelphia Pretzel Company for sponsoring this award. Thank you, Dusty, and congratulations on your move to the front office of the San Francisco Giants. And as Brody said, a great team is led by the right coach, one trained to intentionally teach life lessons. The Steel Sports Coaching System, the Lasorda Way, has been developed and inspired by many of the legends here this evening. And with Steel Sports being part of Steel Partners, we're in a unique position to impact kids all over the country in multiple sports by training employees at Steel Partners companies who coach in their communities. To present the Steel Partners Coach of the Year, sponsored by Skechers, is Jerry Royster, who has managed Major League Baseball, international youth, and high school baseball teams and enjoyed a 16-year Major League Baseball career. Hello everyone, I'm Jester, a former Major League Baseball player and manager. And as a Steel board member, I was fortunate in many of the Steel Partners' businesses around the country for 
town halls, and meet so many of the employees. So I am thrilled to be presenting the 2023 Partners Coach of the Year Award to Mike Skechers. The Steel Sports Sponsorship awarded over $120,000 in 2023 to organizations where the coaches completed our foundations of positive coaching course. With 75 coaches impacting over 6,000 kids, we're so proud of how you all have embraced Tommy's you gotta believe mantra and utilize coaching to impact kids. I played for Tommy and I know firsthand how the right coach, a trained coach, can have a long lasting positive impact on kids. We have five finalists winners. The finalists are Tim McLean from ONG, Tim Kanaga wants uh, soccer and a baseball association. Julie Mo Dunmore, Julie coaches Northampton's uh, cheer. Jim Jackson, Web Bank. Jim coaches two mountain biking teams in Big City. Wendy Thorpe, Indiana Tube, coaching and supporting Buddy Ball Baseball for special needs kids. Richard Crump, JPS, coaching AAU base, uh, basketball for 20 years. Winner of the 2023 Bill Partners Coach of the Year Award are Julie Musto and Jim Jackson. Julie is a supply chain manager at Dunmore in Bristol, Pennsylvania, and has been coaching cheerleading for six years. This is her second year as a steel partner coach, and she was a finalist last year. Her team has 31 girls, but the impact of the sponsorship reached all 180 girls in their league, as it helped provide new mats for training. Emphasizes safety and managing schoolwork. Like Tommy, Julie's most important tool is teaching her athletes to believe in themselves. Congratulations. Jim is senior vice president, strategic Strategic partner oversight at Web Bank. And Jim has coached mountain biking the last four years. It's also a second year steel partner supported coach. Jim's teams are made up of high school and middle schoolers, including junior development riders. In 2023, 40 student athletes participate in a league with over 1,000 athletes. To the training the riders, Jim's to teach fundamental skills. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight as we honor our athletes, our teams, and our coaches. My name is Steve Jones, and I'm the Senior Vice President of the Steel Sports Coaching System. And at this stage of this evening's proceedings, we want to recognize the third annual Steel Partners Kids First Cup winner for 2023. Steel Partners, our parent company, owns and operates 13 business units in various industries all across America. These include manufacturing, energy, supply chain management, banking, and of course, steel sports. Steel sports and steel partners represent the, sh the same shared purpose, which is to forge a path of success for the next generation by putting kids first, instilling our core values, building character, and intentionally teaching life lessons through sports. The Steel Partners Kids First Cup recognizes a business unit that has positively impacted kids in their community with steel sports programming. They have also completed our online coaching courses and participated in the Steel Partners annual Core Values Contest. The question in 2023 was, could anyone unseat our current cup holders and back-to-back -back winners, OMG? Please join me in welcoming Warren Lichtenstein, Steel Partners Executive Chairman, to announce this year's winner. Thank you, Jonesy. Hello, everybody, and thank you all for attending tonight's ceremony to honor and celebrate our coaches, athletes, and staff. This year, the Kids First Cup will travel from Massachusetts to Milwaukee, as I am honored to announce the third annual Steel Partners Kids First Cup Award is going to Lucas Milha. Big coincidence that uh, John Ash, the president of Lucas, is now stepping in to be the president of OMG. So sadly, he will have to leave the cup behind twice. Lucas ran a very successful kids first sports camp impacting nearly 80 kids in Wisconsin and Rhode Island. The Rhode Island camp was run in partnership with the local police athletic league, which is awesome. It was attended by kids from underserved communities as well as um, surrounding areas. 
Luke is also at a hundred percent increase of employees, um, what they consider STIP and volunteers, complete foundations of positive coaching, online training, which is a 400% increase in the number of active coaches in their communities from 2022 to 2023. We're hoping that those numbers increase in 2024 and beyond. Plus they are the first business unit to create steel teams in their community coached by steel employees. And we're hoping that we have many more teams coached by many more steel employees. And in particular, I'm hoping that many more of these teams are coached by people that participated as athletes in the steel sports programs. It's great to see the impact that we're having on kids, employees and the communities that we uh, are involved in. We look forward to expanding our positive impact and another competitive kids first cup race in 2024. And now for the final award of the night, Steel Sports is creating a new standard in youth sports and coaching. And the Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year Award honors two individuals who impact kids at the highest level. Thank you to Lee Gaps for their continued support as the award sponsor and for their impact on youth sports organizations and communities. And to present the two winners are Jeremy Goldberg, president and quarterback. That's a great title. He's with Lee Gaps. And we welcome back Steel Partners Executive Chairman Warren Lichtenstein. Hey, everyone. It's good to be here. As you heard, I'm Jeremy Goldberg. I am the president and, yes, quarterback at League Apps. I also played a pretty mean first base. Uh, this has been an incredible event to watch. I'm super inspired. Uh, and don't tell Dusty, but I'm a lifelong Texas Rangers fan and grew up rooting for Bobby Valentine's. So excited about that Texas Rangers victory this past fall. Uh, you know, League Apps is on a mission to deliver amazing sports experiences uh, for all. And as the leading youth sports management platform, we power thousands of leading organizations across the country from teams and clubs and camps to, to professional leagues. We're also proud to have launched the Fun Play Foundation that has helped deliver over 700,000 sports experiences to underserved communities. We are deeply honored by our partnership with Steel Sports. Tonight is exactly why we, are, we, 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 on, we feel that kind of honor. Uh, and we share the organization's commitment to elevating the youth sports experience for everyone. We, we also believe in the power of recognizing excellence. In fact, I'm actually broadcasting live, you probably can't see in the darkness, from the Poconos, where over 125 of my League Apps colleagues are gonna gather this week, and we're gonna have our own award show for our team members who embody League Apps values, which we refer to as sports dog. Sportsmanship, passion, openness, result, team, student of the game, difference maker, own your role, and grit. So many of those values really characterize Tommy Lasorda and why he represented such excellence. And that's why we're so proud to sponsor the Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year for the fourth year. We recognize the power of great coaching as essential to delivering an amazing sports experience. You know, Tommy Lasorda set the standard for instilling the attitude of believing in yourself, which translates to sports, business, and life. You know, there are going to be two winners tonight, and I'm going to announce the first one. So virtual drum roll, please. The first Steel Sports Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year Award for this evening is Dave Vieira. Congrats, Dave. Dave is the coach of Team Steel Colorado, a two, uh, 2026 grad year, and is also a Team Steel National Program Coach. Uh, and I don't know Dave, but I want to because he is known to his players' parents for giving kids opportunities on the field to play multiple positions, to ultimately welcome in new players, and also provide a challenge to his regulars. I've heard that Dave teaches his players to respect the opposing team's catcher and the home plate umpire by shaking their hands. And he instills the steel core values in his kids, communicating practice plans ahead of time and uh, recognizing effort uh, regardless of results on the field. Dave supports his community also off the field, right? Which is what a great coach does. Uh, even last year, he helped raise funds for a player's sister who has cancer. So just congratulations, Dave, for inspiring all of us. Thank you for everything you're doing in Colorado. And now I'm going to throw it to Warren uh, to present our next winner. Warren, I think you're up. 
Thank you very much, Jeremy, and thank you very much for uh, supporting our uh, our program. And we uh, appreciate Lee Gaps and uh, our our relationship, and hope it continues for many many years. And uh, congratulations on all your guys' successes. So, as many of you know, uh, Tommy was a very close friend of mine, and uh, like a second dad to me and was the inspiration for starting Steel Sports, which we started in Dodger Stadium, to try to take the magic that Tommy had in helping instill core values in people to help <clears throat> build character and teach life lessons through sports. Tommy was a member of, of our advisory board and uh, began <clears throat> when we started Steel Sports, excuse me, in 2010, and we started it out of Dodger Stadium. <clears throat> We're forever grateful to Tommy for his legacy, for putting kids first, for exemplifying our core values of teamwork, respect, integrity, and commitment, and for always um, having everybody uh, remember that they're supposed to be playing for their name on the front of the jersey and not the name on the back of the jersey. We had a great variety of nominations for our coaches for this year. <clears throat> and I'm so proud to see so many of our coaches appreciated by their athletes, their parents, and our communities. So without further ado, our next winner, <coughs> excuse me, of the Steel Sports Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year Award is Heather O'Rourke. Congratulations, Heather. <coughs> Heather is a coach and senior assistant <coughs> of Steel United, Pennsylvania. Heather coaches both girls and boys teams in Steel United, Pennsylvania, to tremendous success on and off the field, leading her 2009 girls team to a national finals this summer. Parents praised Heather for her commitment to teach their kids skills and life lessons and passion for the club and the game. Heather also coaches summer programs, bringing the same energy to the players so that they can learn in a fun environment, bonding and developing with each other. Heather, <clears throat> way to go in creating the chemistry needed for teams in order to be winners. Heather is involved with the Women of Steel initiatives and community events, such as supporting grandparents who are raising their grandkids. And Heather is our first two-time winner of this award, having won in 2020. Way to go, Heather. Congratulations. You are a true role model as a Tommy Lasorda National Coach of the Year two-time winner. Much appreciated. Look forward to seeing you soon. Well, that was a lot of fun, and that puts a bow on things this evening. We appreciate you all for attending this incredible event tonight. Congratulations to all our winners and nominees. Thank you to our celebrity presenters, our sponsors, dedicated coaches, amazing athletes, supporting families, and committed staff. Because of you, the future of Steel Sports is bright. Once this presentation ends, you'll be placed back on the tables in the virtual main room. Please feel free to stay and chat with staff, families, friends. And on behalf of the terrific people at Steel Sports, thank you for being with us tonight. Pitchers and catchers report soon, and that sounds pretty good to us in the chilly Midwest. We'll see you out on the competition field soon. I'm Sean Sullivan. It has been an absolute privilege to be with you tonight. So long from Steel Sports.